In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the basics of Microsoft Word. When you open up Microsoft Word, you may see a window that looks like this. These are predefined templates that you can click on and you can edit to create a Word document. You can also click on Take a Tour to learn more about the features in Microsoft Word. We're going to go ahead and open up a blank document by double clicking on this box that says Blank Document. This will bring us to Microsoft Word. To get started, I want to point out how Microsoft Word looks. Up at the top, you have different tabs. If you click on these tabs, it changes what is beneath. These tabs underneath them have what's called the ribbon. The ribbon contains different shortcuts that allow you to do certain functions inside of your document in Microsoft Word. In this video, we're going to focus on the Home tab and some of the features found on the ribbon inside of the Home tab. Some other things I want to point out before we continue is as you look around on the side, you can see there's a scroll window that allows you to scroll up and down on the page. Down in the bottom right hand corner, you can zoom out of this page, which is this white area within the gray area, or you could zoom in. I like to zoom out so I can see more of my page. If you scroll over to the left hand side, you can see what language or dictionary uh, Microsoft Word is using. You can also see how many words you are using, as well as what page you are on. Now to get started, I want to point out there is a blinking line right here. This is where our text will appear when we begin to type. To type, simply click your mouse in that white area and you can type something out. I'm going to start by typing out something simple. Now that I have typed that word, let me show you some things that you can do with it. First of all, you can select the word by clicking and dragging, and when you do that, this small window pops up, giving you shortcut access to some of the items that are found here inside of the font section of your ribbon. So if I highlight this simply by clicking and dragging, this box appears. Now I'm going to show you how to access many of these features up here uh, so we don't need them when the box appears. So if the box disappears like it just has, you can access those same things by clicking on the Home tab and coming up to this section. Let me go through a couple of these things. This first one is a B. If I press on it, more bold or darker looking. I can turn it off by clicking on the B. Also notice when I hover over this letter, it gives me the shortcut key, Control and B. This shortcut means if I press Control and B on the keyboard, it will do the same thing. So if I press Control, B, with it selected, it will make it it'll make that word bold. If I press Control B again, it will make that unbold. Now with that selected, I could also italicize it. I'm going to turn that off. Underline it. I could strike through it. And I'm, I'm going to skip a couple of these and show you some other things. Right above these, you have this word. This is the font name. You can choose different fonts. A font is the design of the letters that are in there. This is the font size. You can increase the font size by clicking on this down arrow and choosing a larger font size. You could shrink it by choosing a smaller font size. You can also use this A with the up arrow, which is pointing to increase the font size, or this A with the down arrow or down triangle to decrease the font size. I can move over to this one right here, which will allow me to change the case of whatever is selected, the case meaning uppercase and lowercase. I can click on this. I can change it to sentence case, which means the first letter uh, of the sentence would be capitalized. I could make it all lowercase. I could make it all uppercase. I could capitalize each word or I could toggle case. That means it does opposite to what is there. I'm going to go ahead and keep this at sentence case. Now let me show you a couple of more things that you can do. This is just simply highlighting one word and making a few variations and changes to it. But if we have more than one word, let's say a paragraph, I'm going to go ahead and press return or enter on the keyboard and this will bring me down to a new line and I'm going to type in the following
So I have typed in the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Uh, this sentence allows me to see every letter in the alphabet, but I'm going to use this so that we can see how to select and do a couple more things within Microsoft Word. So if I want to copy this entire paragraph or this entire sentence, I can click and drag. It selects this, and I know it's selected because there's this gray highlighting over it. And then once it is selected, I can come up here to this button and click on copy. I now click my cursor at the end of this sentence. Now I can come up here and click where it says paste, and it will paste the sentence. Notice that when I pasted the sentence, this pop-up appears. Oftentimes when you're using Microsoft and you do something and something pops up like this, it means it has some options for you. So if I click on this down triangle, I can actually choose to keep the source formatting. That means if I copied something, let's say from the internet and I paste it in here, it may look different. This one says to merge formatting. And this means that I'm going to keep it as a picture. You don't need to worry about that one right now. And this one is keep text only. Oftentimes this is the best one is keep text only. And that just matches whatever you have here. And it has the text. So that is one way to copy the text is to click and drag to highlight, go up to copy, and then go up to paste. And that will copy the text. Another way to copy and paste is to click and highlight. But this time, instead of clicking on the copy button, I'm going to press Control and C. And you can see when I hover over this, it gives me a shortcut key right here. So I can simply press Control and C on the keyboard. And then instead of clicking on the paste, I can press Control and V at the same time. And I like to remember the Control C as Control Copy and the Control V which if I press now, Control and V at the same time, it pastes it in there. And I like to remember Control V as in Velcro, like you're trying to stick something together. So Control V will paste it or Velcro it back into where you want it to be. Now that we have a couple of sentences in here, let's go ahead and practice some of the features we can change to certain text. If I highlight this word quick by clicking and dragging, I can come up and I can make that bold, just like we did earlier. Now, if I want to change something else, if I highlight the word fox, this time I can come up here and I can underline the word because this pops up. And again, this gives us a lot of the same features that we have up here. Now that I have changed the formatting of a couple of these words, if I want to copy this formatting, over to here, I can select this formatting. I can come up here to where it says Format Painter. And what Format Painter does is it allows you to copy the formatting of something and put it somewhere else. Notice how my cursor has a paintbrush next to it. What this means is anywhere I click and drag is going to copy the formatting from this location to this location. I'm going to demonstrate that with Fox. If I highlight Fox with the underlining, I can come up here to Format Painter and I can click and drag and notice how it underlines everywhere. Now, if I make a mistake and I want to go back, this is an important key to know, up here is the Undo button. If I click on this, it will undo the last step that I've done. In fact, there's a drop down triangle right here which I can undo and I can see all of the different things that I have undone. So I can follow this down back to a certain point. Maybe I want to go right to this point and it will take me right to that point. If I need to redo something, I simply come over here, I click redo and it will redo whatever was just undone. The shortcut keys for undo is control and Z and the shortcut key for redo is control and Y. Those two keys will help you undo something, control Z, and redo something, control Y. A couple of other things I want to demonstrate about selecting and changing fonts. If I wanted to change the color of this word, I can click and highlight it. 
I can come up here to font color and I can click on it and it will change it to red. If I want it to be another font color, I simply click on this drop down and I can choose another font color. If there is something that I would like to highlight, I can click and drag and right here it says ABC and it has a highlight. It's the same thing that's up here. I can click on that and it will highlight the text. If I have gone through and made a number of changes and I want to get rid of all the formatting and make this look plain again, I can select everything by clicking and dragging. And then I come up here to the A with an eraser. This clears all formatting. It does leave the highlighting though. To get rid of the highlighting, I simply click and drag that section and I choose no color under the drop down next to highlighting. Before this video ends, I want to show you a couple more tricks in selecting your text. First of all, if you would like to select an entire word, if you double click inside that word, it will select it. If you would like to select an entire paragraph, triple click. That means you click with the left mouse really quickly one, two, three times, and it will select the entire paragraph. If you want to select certain lines, but not the entire paragraph. If you come over here on the side, you can click and drag down, and as you drag down, it will select whole lines at a time. One last way I want to show you how to select, which is easier for some people, is to click in the location you would like to select the text, and then press Shift on the keyboard, and press either your left or right arrow. If you press the arrow while pressing Shift, it will select one character at a time. If you select too much, simply press the arrow in the other direction and it will select back one character at a time. This is using the left and right arrows to select. If you would like to select lines this way, use the down arrow or the up arrow and it will select entire lines. This video has been a quick overview of getting started in Microsoft Word with changing how a font looks using this part of the ribbon or by highlighting a font and using this pop-up box. I hope this video has been helpful to you in better understanding how to select and change how fonts look in Microsoft Word. If you would like to learn more about Microsoft Word, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. And if there are things that you would like to learn about Microsoft Word, please leave a comment below. It may be the topic of a future video. Thank you and have a wonderful day.